Greetings. If you are watching this, it means your company has most likely been ransomed. We are here to help. We have successfully infiltrated the network of JoJo's Hospital. Your most sensitive data, including patient records, financial information, and internal communications, are now in our control. We have encrypted all your files, rendering them inaccessible to you and your staff. Any attempts to restore from backups will be futile, as we have also compromised your backup systems. No need to panic. We simply demand a payment of $2 million in Bitcoin within the next 72 hours. Failure to comply will result in the public release of your confidential files. The clock is ticking. Do not attempt to contact law enforcement or security experts, as this will result in immediate data release. Remember, we are watching. Any unauthorized attempts to resolve this issue will be met with severe consequences. This is your only warning. Thank you for your compliance on this business matter. It seems JoJo's hospital's files have been locked down by ransomware. So now, we'll need your help solving the investigation. Let's get started. How many hours did the hackers give the hospital to pay the ransom? The ransomware group left a bold name at the top of the note. What was the name of the ransomware group? The ransomware group had a snarky and mean slogan. What was it? Not only did the hackers ask the hospital for money, but they also sent intimidating emails to patients. They asked patients to pay money too, or their personal information would be shared. How much did the hackers ask the patients to pay? The Lockbite Ransom Group threatened to release the hospital patient's health history, medical information, and one other thing. What very important unique identifier number did the ransomware operators threaten to release? We can confirm that the hackers locked files on the machines of many employees. This means those employees could not long access their important files. This is very bad. What extension did they put on the locked files? The hackers left a note on at least one of the computers telling the hospital how to pay the ransom. What was the name of the ransom note file? This ransom note is a major clue. We can use it to figure out how the ransom might have happened. On what host name was the ransom note observed?
Great, now that we know what hostname the file was seen on, we can figure out who it belongs to. What is the name of the employee whose host has the ransom note? Since the ransom note was only seen on Anthony's machine, it is likely that more bad actions happened here. We can start by zooming into Anthony's machine and see what weird things occurred around the time the company got ransomed. One of the command mentions a ransomer. That's very suspicious. What was the name of the ransomer file mentioned? This ransomer file was written onto a hospital share at jojoshospital.org. The attackers did this in order to spread the ransomware quickly across multiple systems within the hospital's network. By placing the malicious file on a shared drive, they ensured that any computer with access to this share could potentially execute the ransomware, thus increasing the infection rate and making it more challenging for the hospital's IT team to contain the outbreak. This method of distribution exploits the network's sharing capabilities to maximize the impact of the ransomware attack. When the attackers copied the ransomer file to the network share, they renamed it to what name? If we keep looking down in the data, we can see that the threat actors actually stole some data from the hospital as well. What tool did the attackers use to steal the data? After pulling down the important data they wanted to steal, the attackers sent it out the door using a curl command. A curl command is like a digital delivery service. A curl command packs up the stolen data, addresses it to an external server, and sends it over the internet. This way, the attackers can quickly and quietly move the stolen data from the hospital's computers to their own remote server. What domain did the attackers send the stolen data to? By following the data, we're so much closer to understanding our attacker, their motives, and the impact of the intrusion. With a little more work, we could have all the answers we need. If you enjoyed this investigation, then you will love KC7, the cybersecurity game where you become a detective to help figure out how and why companies are hacked. And new this morning, the FBI Director Christopher Wray is expected to issue a major warning to lawmakers that Chinese hackers are preparing to, quote, wreak havoc on U.S. infrastructure. That massive cyber attack forcing the shutdown of a critical pipeline that delivers nearly half of all the fuel used on the East Coast. The ongoing cyber attack at Arden Health Services is forcing roughly a dozen of their hospitals to divert patients away from emergency rooms. Cybersecurity is all about motivations. Every time a cyber attack happens, there's something that motivated the hackers to spend all their precious time and money trying to hack the victim. It could be making money, stealing precious information, or just sending a message. So when we investigate a cyber attack, we look for clues, we ask good questions, and we work together to find out not just how the attack happened, but also why it might have happened. At the KC7 Foundation, we believe everyone belongs in cyber, no matter what they look like or where they are from. That's why we built KC7, 
a game that gives everyone the chance to learn cybersecurity in a way that's fun and engaging. Through KC7, we've helped thousands of people all around the world find a love for cybersecurity. In KC7, you step into the shoes of a cyber defender and learn how to unravel an entire cybersecurity mystery. It's just like a game of Clue, a thrilling mystery novel, or a James Bond movie, except you're the hero. So whether you're brand new to cybersecurity or have years of experience, you're in the right place. Together, we're going to dive into a cyber attack and uncover the story behind how and why it all happened. Along the way, you'll sharpen your puzzle solving skills and you'll learn how to respond to a cybersecurity incident, just like the pros. And just like the pros, you can use your newfound knowledge to protect the people you care about, your friends, your family, and your community.